Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting video. In the last video guys, if you remember, we created Android virtual devices, a lot of virtual devices to actually deploy this application on uh, Android virtual device, this Kotlin application. And in today's video guys, we'll see how we can run our application on a physical device. Before I start with the video guys, uh, please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications. And let's get started with today's video. So guys, as you can see on my screen that we are on our phone. And before you start debugging your physical device, there are some settings which you need to enable. So we'll go into the settings here. And in the settings, guys, you may have additional settings or anywhere else. But basically what you have to go through is something called as developer options. So what you can do, guys, you can find the developer options on your phone. Click on the developer options guys and in the developer options there is something called as USB debugging debug mode when USB is connected. So what you have to do guys if this is going to be by default disabled you have to enable this and click on OK and this is going to allow the USB debugging on your phone. Once this is done then we are ready to connect our phone to our system. So now that we have connected our phone with a USB cable to my laptop, you can see guys that my phone is now visible in the running devices of my AVD menu. So now I can deploy my application to this, to my physical device. Another way to check that your device is perfectly connected is to actually go to the platform tools folder. So guys, if you remember, uh, there is a folder called as platform tools, which gets created in your app data local Android SDK folder. And here you will find an exe file called as adb.exe. So using this adb.exe, if you try to execute the command adb.devices, you will see the list of the devices attached. So as many devices are you attaching to your laptop, you will see all of them attached here. And this is also a way to understand that your device is connected with your Android Studio and it is ready to use. Uh, if your device somehow doesn't appear here guys or then there are certain things you can do to troubleshoot you can unplug the USB cable and plug it back in you can restart the Android studio you can uh, you know open the developer options and revoke the USB debugging authorization or disable it and enable it reconnect the device to your computer and when you reconnect you grant authorizations again so basically all the steps which i have shown you just try to do all of them again and it might solve your issue otherwise there uh, there are certain conditions which uh, can hamper you so you can google specific to that particular error and on internet you will find a lot of help regarding that other than that it should be pretty straightforward to actually connect your physical device to android studio okay so now that we have connected our device to Android Studio, now it's the time to actually deploy our application here. So you can see guys, you just have to select your device and you have to click on this play button. Once you start to click on this play button guys, you will actually get a prompt on your phone. And once you get a prompt on your phone guys, you just have to click OK. The application will get installed and it will just open on your phone. So let's click on the play button here and you can see that the gradle build has started to run so now you can see guys that i have got a prompt on my phone to install it via usb all i have to do is click install once i click install uh, then the app going to get installed on my phone very quickly and then it will just open the app on my phone and there you go guys you can see that now i have the help and this is how you can really use a physical device to install applications from android studio and debug applications from there so that was the video guys uh, that was all about running your app on a physical device one last thing i want to show you guys is something called as wireless debugging so guys i don't have a phone which has a android 11 or higher but i will provide a link in the description below Please check that out. This is an official documentation of uh, developerandroid.com in which they have provided that if you have an Android, uh, Android OS 11 and later, then it supports de deploying and debugging app wirelessly from your uh, workstations. So you don't even have to have a USB cable uh, attached. All you have to do is 
go inside your settings menu on your phone enable the wireless debugging option under the developer options once you have done that then there are a bunch of steps to allow the wireless debugging and you know uh, just register your ip address and port with your uh, adb.exe I've also showed you uh, where the adb.exe is. So I think these steps are pretty easy to perform. And once you are done with the pairing of your device, then you will be able to, you know, run uh, an application easily without even using any USB cable. Okay. So I'll put this link into the description and please have a look at that if you have a higher Android version. So that was the video guys. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and your Android practice became a little bit better. If it has guys then please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for future notifications. Write down in the comment section below anything you want to say to me. Any feed is welcome. And uh, thank you so much for watching guys. I'll make your videos every day from Monday to Friday. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then take care and bye bye.